Diamondback Moth Impact and Control Methods The Diamondback Moth is a major pest of cruciferous crops such as cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, and kale. Larvae of the diamondback moth feed on the leaves of these plants, creating small holes and causing significant leaf damage. This feeding can reduce photosynthesis, stunting plant growth, and leading to lower crop yields. Heavy infestations can result in significant economic losses for farmers due to reduced crop quality and marketability. The diamondback moth has a high propensity for developing resistance to many insecticides, making control efforts challenging. Control methods and recently used insecticides. Chemical control remains the most effective and quick method for managing diamondback moth populations. Here are some recently used options. Chlorhantranilipril. This diamide insecticide activates rhinodyne receptors leading to uncontrolled calcium release in muscle cells, causing paralysis and death. Studies show chlorontranilipril provides maximum initial efficacy against diamondback moths. Cyontranilipril, another diamide insecticide, cyontranilipril targets rhinodyne receptors similarly to chlorantranilipril. It has shown high efficacy and provides maximum control 10 days after application outperforming other insecticides in prolonged effectiveness. Amamectin benzoate, a semi-synthetic derivative of the avermectin family. Amamectin benzoate targets the nervous system of the moth, causing paralysis and death. It has proven highly effective, but slightly less so than chlorontranilipril and cyantranilipril. Spinosad, derived from naturally occurring bacteria, Spinosad affects the nervous system of insects, leading to muscle contractions and eventual death. It is considered a reduced risk insecticide due to its low toxicity to non-target organisms. Indoxicarb. This oxadiazine insecticide acts by blocking sodium channels in the nervous system of insects. It has shown effectiveness against the diamondback moth and other lepidopteran pests. Spirotetramat, a tetramic acid derivative, Spirotetramat is a systemic insecticide that affects lipid biosynthesis. It provides effective control by inhibiting the development of larvae and reducing reproduction in adult moths. Flubendiamide, another diamide insecticide, flubendiamide targets rhinodyne receptors, causing uncontrolled muscle contractions in insects. It is highly effective against lepidopteran pests, including the diamondback moth. Broflanolidae, a relatively new insecticide, broflanolide targets the GABA-gated chloride channels in the insect nervous system, leading to paralysis and death. It has shown promise in controlling diamondback moth populations. Spinatorum, similar to spinosad, spinatorum, is a fermentation product of Saccharopolyspora bacteria. It disrupts the nervous system of insects, leading to muscle contractions and death. It is effective against a broad range of pests, including the diamondback moth. By using these insecticides, farmers can effectively manage diamondback moth populations and protect their crops. Thank you for watching our video on pesticide info. Remember, when using pesticides, it's crucial to follow the recommended dosage and guidelines provided by the manufacturer. Always read the label carefully and use the product as directed to ensure effective and safe pest control. Always wear protective gear. Stay safe and protect your crops responsibly. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below.